Hi everyone, I'm Vaughn, owner and maker of Vaughn Knits, and you are watching Dare to be Original with Vaughn. Today I wanted to talk to you about, this is, this is a video for all the, the handmade uh, sellers. Um, I have a Facebook group called Dare to be Original and uh, we have a bunch of awesome, awesome members in there and some of them are just uh, crafters and hobbyists and artists and artisans and a lot of them are makers that sell their handmade products. So this video is dedicated to those people because a lot of questions they they ask about pricing and they ask um, inside the Facebook group they nobody ever knows what to price and and the shipping and and they were always discussing money and in terms of of that and am i making the right decision on what 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 branding what colors what how much should i price something and i don't want to turn somebody off and all of those questions can be answered by doing the work and answering this one question and that is who is your ideal customer so my ideal customer, I'm Vone owner, maker of Vone Knits, and I sell one-of-a-kind handmade knit, knit and crochet scarves. And my ideal customer, because the more, the more detail you are about who your ideal customer is, the, 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 clearer, the clearer your answers become as to what you want to do, how you want to run your business, how you want to price something, how what procedures you want to take, like all those answers can be answered when I answer who is my ideal customer. And the the more detailed and more specific you get about that that ideal customer, the the easier it is to find your target market, to find who your audience is, who your customer is, and then and then show them how you can serve them, show them how you can solve their problem, right? So my ideal customer, her name is Rebecca. She is a smart, independent, classy lady who loves style, who knows what she likes, who doesn't want to march to the beat of everybody else's drums. She marches to the beat of her own drums. And she likes wearing different and unique pieces, but not like a standout gaudy neon neon signs of like, you know, like she doesn't want to stand out in that way. She wants to stand out in a classy, beautiful way that just makes people look at her and go, ooh, where'd she get that and how do I duplicate that? But they can't because she buys one of a kind pieces. That's Rebecca. And Rebecca also is, I'm starting to, I opened her price range because or her, her age range because I wasn't sure how old or how young she is because you know one of a kind scarves I make I just like to make classic beautiful pieces so I don't want to eliminate the 25 year olds that appreciate beautiful handmade scarves and I don't want to eliminate the 65 year olds that appreciate beautiful handmade scarves so her age range is pretty vast but I think as I narrow her age range down I'll get more specific at as to how old she really is but I don't think for women or at least in the in the scarf which is what I do um has has an age range so that's why I'm more lenient about my age range but if you if you have a certain item that you make that you want to sell to a certain target like audience like say somebody in the Facebook group she sells knitwear for athlete, athletes like outdoor athletes like skiers and hikers and and she makes a killing off that because she knows who her customer base is she's like a hiker chick that loves to wear like fancy flashy colors and wants to stand out in beautiful gorgeous hats with all these beautiful colors and stay warm like she knows her target audience and her target uh age range is uh, an athlete's age range that loves to go skiing and hiking so the more the more target um the more specific and narrow down to to your niche you get the the easier 
that becomes, but, but because I like to make, uh, beautiful scars, I just kind of, age range is a lot bigger for me because I, I, um, don't want to limit myself. And I think women wear scarves at all ages. So I, that's why my age range is like so vast, but if you can narrow it down, you want to narrow it down depending on what you do and basically get to know this customer and, and, and find out where she, where he or she, uh, lives, where they work, what, what kind of social media do they frequent? Are they, are they more on Twitter or are they more on Instagram or do they love to be on Facebook groups? Like the more you get to know who your ideal target customer is, the better it is for you to, to run your business to accommodate that, that audience, that customer, you know? So, um, there's a lot of, there's a lot of teachers and, 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 um, bloggers and YouTubers that have like customer avatar cheat sheets to build, build your customer, like go find them, look, look that up customer. You'll, I'm sure Google that. And I'm sure you'll have all the free resources and amazing resources for you to, um, narrow down your, who your customer audience is. Um, but, but a must, a must for you handmade solopreneurs and entrepreneurs is if you don't know who your customer, who your ideal customer avatar is, then you have, you will never, you will not know who you're selling it to. And if you don't know who you're selling it to, you have nobody buying your stuff. So you have to get that, you have to get that element right first. So if you like this video, please um, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, and if you are Rebecca, if you're Rebecca out there and you want to check out my shop, the link is down below. The Facebook is down below in the descriptions. And um, hopefully you'll contact me. All right. God bless. Bye.